what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and we are back with another episode of dirty business if you guys don't remember what happened in the last episode jacob basically had a fit with us um that we didn't want to eat with him um so we put him in his place but we felt bad because we did compare him to his brother which um <clears throat> Which, um, it's very evident that he doesn't like, but we went out to dinner, not dinner, lunch, we had lunch with him. You know, we realized he's not that bad. He's just, you know, he's a typical bad guy, you know, he's, he's not that bad. He's just, he just doesn't know how to show his good side. Um, so we went back to the office, Byron did not like us going to lunch with Jacob. And now we are in his office telling him how we need a punishment. Ooh. <laughs> But then he gets real close and we get interrupted by somebody who I want to say is Jacob, but I also could be wrong. But we're going to see. So let's jump into the episode and see what is the tea. Am I interrupting something? Ugh, you are. I told you it was Jacob. Who else was it going to be? Jacob, I had a meeting with Phoenix competition competition for elanic yes but we may have a shot in buying them we'll talk this through at the country head next week speaking of the country head meeting miss williams here will accompany us will she and i did change their eyes i just changed them to gray but everything else about them the same you're both welcome you're both welcome in my humble abode. out of the question why miss williams and i will check in at a hotel but End up with the story. He said, absolutely not. I brushed off the moment I shared with Brian like it was a product of my vivid imagination. And the rest of the week passed uneventful. Too uneventful, I may say. Jacob was true to his promise. He behaved. But it felt strange. He behaved to the extent of almost ignoring me. Our girl looks cute with her work outfits on, though. <gasps> Look at us matching. Morning, Miss Williams. Hello, Mr. Lancaster. Girl, not running after that man. Take a wait. Yes, Miss Williams. Don't Miss Williams me. What have I done? What are you talking about? You're avoiding me. I'm not. I'm just working. Don't you want to have lunch again? No, I'm not crazy. He was indeed good company and he paid and I needed to save some money. So I wanted to have lunch with him again. No other reason. <laughs> Piper, his cocky smile appeared again and I didn't know if I was annoyed or turned on. Did you miss me? No, he didn't need to know, but I missed him. No way. I mean, girl, you're doing all this, so you definitely missed them, girl. <laughs> I missed the MF. I was wondering, sorry, I, he leaned over me, his breath on my face, he was standing so close I could smell his cologne. So his cologne was milder than his brother's, a woody fragrance with lemon tones. It was refreshing, as refreshing as his playful smile. He took my chin between his thumb and forefinger and turned my head to face him. Tell me, Piper, tell me if you miss me. His eyes lingered on my lips and I took the liberty of doing the same. His full lips looked so delicious and that I forgot where I was for a moment. While he was running his tongue over his lips, I leaned in and... Piper? Jacob? Oh, we're all wearing green today. Mr. Lancaster, I was just leaving. Stay. What? It's about New York. We have to leave tomorrow. My pilot wants time off this weekend, so we'll fly to New York on Friday. Everybody's wearing green. We're all matchy-matchy. I mean, Jacob and uh, our grandma's Piper are more matchy, but we're all wearing green. We're the dynamic duo. Well, trio. Pilot? But, sir, I'll go by train. I mean, that's not that far. There's no need to go by plane. She's cute. Piper, have your things ready. At 5 p.m. after work, we're bored on the plane. Jacob's like a train girl. That's cute. That's real cute. This is a disaster. That's it. I'm not going. What can he do? Fire me? I'll search for another job and I'll stop it. 
who's the drama queen now? You don't understand. Try me. I have nothing to wear. I haven't got the time to do laundry and the rest of my clothes. Well, I still need to get my stuff from Harry. So you're going to New York City in your underwear. Is this funny to you? It is, but you can have my credit card. What? Yeah, take it. It's no biggie. I can't possibly abuse your kindness like that. And even if, and even if, let's say, I take it, when do I go shopping? Or flying tomorrow after work? You lucky bitch. Well, you can go shopping on Saturday. I can't believe you're going to fly with Byron Lancaster's private jet to New York City and you still find something to complain about. Well, it's not fair. <laughs> He's got a fact right there. Like, girl, you are about to go on a private jet to New York for business. And you were complaining? Um, flower blouse, um, black and white, red and white. You know what? Let's do the flower. I haven't seen our girl in blue, or maybe I have, and I just don't remember her being in blue. Oh, we're matching with him. Deep breaths, deep breaths. And we're matching with him too. We're just matching with everybody this episode. You're going to be all right. I'm just, I don't know. Flying with my boss, seeing New York makes me a little scared, a little excited. Excited. Don't wet the floor with excitement. By now, call me, maybe. You pun freak. Call me, maybe. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. Anyway, <laughs> your brother will not fly with us. He will, but he will meet us there. He wanted to drive himself. Oh, okay. I smiled at the memory of Jacob changing gears and throwing me playful glances. It's not the first time that week I was thinking of him. I hated to admit it, but this playboy was making room into my heart. And they're also matching again today, her and Byron. Are her and Jacob matching? Sir, we're ready. Five more minutes, Mark. I swear, Jacob will never be punctual. Mark, is he friends with his pilot too? I took a minute to take in Byron's looks. I haven't been paying attention to him since, well, since Jacob arrived. I remember I always had a crush on him. With his clenched jaw and the serious look on his face, he was so loyal and so kind to everyone. He was... There he was. Sex on legs, Lancaster. How could he do that? His smirk, his unbuttoned shirt, his aviators. I remembered our moment yesterday in the office and my chest began heavy with an insatiable desire everybody ready we've been ready since yesterday as for you my brother what's his problem you were late oh you too brutus <laughs> ah, now you get stabbed by everybody love that i like you better without your boss around It's about to be a hell of a ride. All right, guys, that is it for that episode. We are about to see what New York is about to give for this meeting. We're going to New York. Um, we're having meetings. We're going to be in the meetings with the guys. So we're going to all the business. We're going to be in all the tea. Um, but yeah, guys, that is all they have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, of course. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now.